Okay, so you want to get shredded, but do you know what it really means? Getting shredded doesn't just mean building muscle. It also means losing fat as in total body fat. This process can take many months, if not years. When it comes to body fat percentage, being lean is around the range of 7 to 10 percent. On the other hand, being shredded is having a body fat percentage of around 4 to 7 percent. The thing is, having a low body fat percentage isn't healthy. Specifically, if your body fat percentage is below 5%, that's already a sign of poor health even if you're an elite athlete. And the ugly truth when you're shredded? Your body reacts in certain negative ways like feeling easily cold and experiencing DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness. Keep watching until the end to know more about the harsh reality of getting shredded according to science. Before we continue, a like would be great. Number 1. Feeling cold easily are you always cold even when others clearly aren't? The cause may have to do with your dieting down to extreme levels of leanness. Ask anyone who's experienced getting shredded about their experience and they will all tell you the same thing and that they felt cold all the time. You'd be wearing sweatshirts during warm weather and had to always have a blanket near you. And no, it won't be the kind of cold that just goes away after warming up in a couple of minutes. Rather, it's the cold to the bones type of cold. There are many reasons for this, but we'll focus on the three main ones. First, you have less subcutaneous fat and less insulation. Subcutaneous fat, or the fat located under your skin, also serves as a layer of thermal insulation. While such kind of fat isn't very effective as thermal insulation for most people, it does contribute to maintaining the body temperature when the ambient temperature is below 98.6 degrees. But when the body is critically low in fat, it essentially minimizes the subcutaneous fat, making you feel cold. Second, to get shredded, you must eat fewer calories. Low calorie consumption to get ultra lean also lowers your metabolic rate and slightly decreases your overall body temperature. Albeit small, this decrease is noticeable to most people by feeling cold. Third, you have less body fat to generate heat. Body fat is another natural source of body heat and having low levels of this reduces the amount of heat generated by fat tissue. And to add a bit, thyroid dysfunctions which can also spring up in individuals with too low body fat percentages could also dial down their internal thermostat. All those mechanisms when combined become one huge reason why you feel cold all the time at very low levels of body fat. Number 2. Poor Sex Drive A lot of people get shredded or diet down to ultra-low body fat levels because they want to look good naked. There's nothing wrong with that goal. Not at all. However, what if we say that doing things so is like saying goodbye to your sex drive? Well, that defeats the purpose, right? Scientific research and studies have already shown that dieting, especially to low levels of body fat, drops testosterone levels and lowers sex drive. What's more, besides a diminished sex drive, a person's sexual performance also decreases. So if you want to improve your sex life, then certainly you'll want to tone down your dieting a bit. And let's be real, humor and personality go a long way too. Number 3. Little Energy Are you feeling lethargic lately? Unfortunately, this is what happens when you're getting shredded due to low fat levels in your body. Being fat depleted means there are no reserve energy stores in your body. In turn, your body cannot perform at the optimal level since it's practically starving of energy. Moreover, low levels of body fat are associated with slow heart rates and drops in thyroid hormone production, which can contribute further to fatigue. Another ugly side of getting shredded is constant hunger. Here's why. Number 4. Constant Hunger When you're trying to get shredded, feeling hungry all the time is a common side effect. Because you essentially live on broccoli, chicken breast, and air, pizza sounds 10 times as delicious. Dieting until you have low body fat levels will decrease the circulating levels of leptin, a hormone produced by body fat cells. Leptin receptors in the hypothalamus sense this decline and react by increasing your appetite, hence why you're hungry all the time. You can use all the hunger tricks up your sleeve, but ultimately, you'll need to accept that each meal you eat won't make a difference in your hunger. Number 5. Awful Sleep Quality While this isn't extensively studied and researched, a great number of people reported bad sleep as among the top side effects of getting shredded. Most scientific studies explore how poor sleep makes us eat more. That said, some evidence also supports the anecdotal findings that dieting in itself diminishes sleep. For example, in a study of young women, sleep, thyroid levels, and body heat production got worse during calorie restriction. 
And so, considering the important role of sleep in training, recovery, mood, mental acuity, etc., the benefits of being super lean, aka shredded or ripped, start to be offset by the detriments to sleep. Number 6. Poor Muscle Recovery Sure, you can still have a good workout with your extra lean figure, but even so, you'll probably have difficulty getting the most out of it. That's because too low body fat percentage equals too low glycogen levels or stored carbohydrates in the muscles and liver. And glycogen, my friend, is crucial to muscle recovery after exercise. Number 7. Weak Muscles Between terrible workouts due to low energy and poor muscle recovery, muscle gain is all but impossible in individuals with too low body fat percentages. In fact, according to a study from the International Journal of Sports Physiology and Performance, bodybuilders actually dropped strength and muscle mass in the months before the competition. It took them more than half a year to regain their muscle. It's why male bodybuilders typically go below 5% of body fat percentage for competition, but don't maintain that range in the offseason. Not only the muscular, but the reproductive, cardiovascular, skeletal, endocrine, and central nervous systems all go haywire when there are not enough body fat levels in the body. Have you ever experienced DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness? It's a sore, aching, painful feeling in the muscles after a new intense exercise. Well, you'll be going down that path too in exchange for getting ripped. More about this here. Number 8. Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness DOMS if you are trying to diet down to extreme levels of body fat, then you better prepare yourself for the onslaught of DOMS. According to reports, most people notice that their levels of soreness are higher and the soreness lasts much longer when they are dieting down. And when you start getting shredded or reaching extreme levels of leanness, this effect amplifies considerably. A primary reason for this is that the nutrients necessary to repair tissue and reduce soreness are insufficient. In other words, your body doesn't have enough calories and macronutrients to get the work done. Consequently, you can train as hard or as often. And if you need a week to recover at most, then there goes your training for the next week. Number 9. Cranky Moods There's no other way of putting it. Being shredded feels like crap as in you'll be in a miserable mood many times than you can count. Even if you aren't ticked off by the strict calorie counting and social isolation that comes with getting shredded, the low levels of fats in your brain will surely kick in sooner than later, making you feel cranky. After all, fats are essential for neurological function. Therefore, when you're running low on essential fatty acids, which are badly needed by the brain for energy, it can cause irritability and severe mood swings. Number 10. Bad Skin Days Another nasty effect of getting shredded is poor skin health. Fats in your diet and body are essential for healthy skin. On top of that, the individuals who are trying to get extra lean often aren't consuming a lot of water storing carbohydrates. As such, dehydration is a common problem among them. And guess what happens when you're dehydrated? Your body sucks water from the skin to give it to your vital organs. Consequently, your skin becomes dry and splotchy. As you've learned, being shredded requires sacrifices. On the bright side, there are also great things to look forward to when you want to get shredded. One of these is that you can still enjoy delicious snacks without worrying about derailing your progress. Click this video to learn what these snacks are.